Now, when the world talks of India's success story, UPI, India's very own digital payments platform, takes the position of pride. UPI. The UPI. UPI. The UPI. UPI. Reserve Bank, along with the National Payments Corporation of India. Uh, all the 29 so banks who had initially opted for card. UPI. Yeah, we just launched WhatsApp Payments in India last month. What do you want, son? What do you want? 3 rupees? 30 rupees? On the phone? This is his account. <laughs> The UPI system in India has been a game changer in the field of digital economy. People since its development in 2016, UPI has brought a revolution in the way people make digital transactions in the country. India has around 410 million people who use UPI. In 2022 alone, there were more than 7,400 crore UPI transactions, which means that around 2,300 UPI transactions were happening in one second. Hi everybody, and in this episode of the Inside Story, we're talking about how UPI is changing the Indian economy. People on June 8, 2022, the Reserve Bank of India dropped a game-changing announcement. Credit cards can be now linked to the UPI platform. This move brought a powerful change in the wave of digital ecosystem. But this was not always the case. Before UPI, India was dominated by physical currency. Every transaction relied on cash. From buying groceries to paying bills, people had to carry stacks of notes. People back in the 80s, internet infrastructure was not available in the country. Yet there were two products that were being used more often in the place of physical gas. We are talking about credit cards and debit cards. But during the mid-90s, when internet started to become widely popular in India, people began to sell stuff online. This gave a massive rise in the need for an online payment system. This had developed inconvenience, risk of theft, and a heavy reliance on the traditional banking methods. Not only that, transferring money was also a tedious task. People were required to navigate through a lot of account numbers, IFC codes, and banking details. This complexity made even a simple transaction more prone to errors, delay, and a very daunting task. This is where UPI's innovation played a huge role. At its heart, UPI is just a mediator, enabling different banks and payments platforms to have a seamless conversation. UPI as a digital bridge eliminated barriers and connects financial systems like never before. But how does UPI work? Well, in UPI, you have a unique digital address, which is called as your UPI ID. It is a secret code that is only known to you and your bank. Whenever you wish to send or receive money, all you need to do is just share this ID. People UPI is used in every corners of India. From Panipuri stall to big malls, you just need your phone and an UPI app to just transfer your money. This has expanded the customer base of every business beyond gas paying customers and facilitated more secure and traceable transactions. By providing a seamless and convenient digital payment method, UPI contributed to gradual decrease in cash transactions. UPI has played a significant role in the Indian government's push to reduce cash usage in the economy. So the government doesn't have to invest in printing the money. Every transaction is monitored by UPI. That means it has improved transparency, decreased the chances of tax invasion, and declined the circulation of unaccounted black money. Well, that is it for today. My name is Ayush and you were watching the Inside Story.